Welcome and thank you for joining us. I'm Jessica Barbier, your host for the Cox OC Community Connection. We're here on location today at the amazing Orange County Great Park, an epicenter in Irvine that has been in development for the last 12 years. The Great Park is one of Irvine's premier locations and today is the site for the city of Irvine's host town events, leading up to the Special Olympics World Games being held here in Southern California this month. Cox Communication, in partnership with our sister company, Kelly Blue Book, are platinum sponsors for the host town events. And today, employees from Cox Communications are here to assist and guide Special Olympic athletes from the Korean delegation through the festivities here at the Great Park. The athletes are participating in many activities, including visits to the hangar right here behind me, the Farm and Food Lab, and taking rides in the famous Orange Balloon. Now let's take a look at one of our local athletes who's preparing for his very first World Games experience. Well, I've been playing golf for 13 years for Special Olympic, and but I would, really didn't think I would take it this far. I love the outdoors and just playing with people and just getting out. Help. And if if I get medals, I get medals. If I don't, I don't. It's just just being out the outdoors with. And I'm playing with people. Every Saturday uh, we have um, practice and starting in March. This year Mar I was in Marty's group and he uh, was helping me out more than Larry. I do it two days a week and he he makes me laugh and he's just like we joke around but he just makes it fun. Square feet, square shoulders. And I got to know Greg pretty good. We got to know uh, how he plays, how he acts, his behavior, his attitude, and, and those things. And he's really well suited for this sort of thing. He comes to the golf program really well instructed, so it isn't like starting from ground up and turning Greg into some golfing miracle. He's He's got a lot of the basic skills already. Plus his personality is well suited for golf, that he can take his uh, ups and downs as we have in golf uh, and uh, move on to the next shot. A year ago we found out that he got invited to the World Games and that was kind of like oh wow that's that is I mean it's for us really a big deal. It, it's pretty exciting for all of us because uh, he, he was picked to be in the uh, World Games I think it's probably going to be the biggest uh, highlight of his life you know he'll never get married and never have kids so uh, being in the World Games, um, you know, like going into the World Olympics, it, it is a passion with him. Uh, and as he's gotten better with golf, he wants to play more and more. Up. And uh, Marty's just been absolutely phenomenal in and, and working with this. And Larry's been good in, in putting it together. He's, he's been the uh, uh, catalyst that, that coordinated with the parents, the athletes, and uh, the course, and then uh, Marty's the pro here at the course. And I said 16 years that they, they've been doing this. That's, that's really quite an accomplishment. Each week it's kind of the same process, different, different element of golf, but they're learning something and they're doing something, and I think that there's a lot of a sense of accomplishment. I mean, for some people, to stand up there and hit the ball is a big deal and it remains a big deal. So that's, that's where they get their uh, uh, joy from. I didn't think I would uh, take it this far to the World Games. They do it in the lottery, and the way I have to get it is I got a 41 at the last tournament that we do here, and plus the gold medal, and that's what got my uh, name in the drawing. So I said, if I get selected, I get selected. If I don't, I don't. Finding out that I did get selected and, and been doing all these things and 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 just enjoying it. And I'm not going to uh, say anything. I'm just going to go out and have fun and do the best I can. Uh, I can say I want to, I'm going to win the gold, and if I don't, I put myself down. But I don't want to do that. I just want to go out and have fun and play my game and and just maybe hopefully I can get uh, gold or bronze or silver. I'm just gonna go out and have fun and do the best I can and be uh, keep my mind open. And to discuss more about the Special Olympics World Games and host towns, 
I'm joined today with Lissa Pestolacy. She's the chair of the Irvine Host Towns. Welcome, Lissa. Thanks so much for joining us today on our show. Thank you very much. I'm pleased. It's a pleasure to be here. I know I caught you at a very busy time. You have been preparing for months to make Host Town possible in Irvine. So thank you so much. I know you're very busy running around here today. Um, so Los Angeles is hosting the World Games here. It's a huge deal. Tell us how often the World Games take place and how big of a deal is it that it's here in Southern California? Well, it is held every four years for the Summer Games, just like the Olympics are, and these are our Special Olympics. And then the all two years ago, the Winter Games were in Korea. So we are hosting the town, the country, that actually hosted the Winter Games for the world two years ago. I love how that, the nice little swap there. Exactly. So before I got involved with World Games and working with you, I actually didn't know what Host Town was all about. So I'm sure some of our visitors and our viewers at home are probably wondering the same. Share a little with us what Host Town is all about. Great, well Host Town, the challenge for Los Angeles was they wanted to make sure that we had an opportunity for our international guests to visit Southern California. So, and also to have an even a common uh, housing situation so that they weren't put in homes or different places so that they all were staying in college dorms and so that's how they started by finding host towns and there are over 80 host towns in Southern California hosting over or so hosting 165 countries and as you had mentioned the Korean delegation is the country that you're hosting yes. here in Irvine yes. how many athletes do you have from Korea we have our delegation is 133 of that 93 are athletes the balance are coaches and staff and in, in addition we have four delegation liaisons and there are inter interpreters they are traveling with the korean delegation the entire time through august 2nd and where are these athletes staying and what kind of activities are do they doing over the next couple of days fabulous they're staying at uci which has been wonderful we're in middle earth which is a wonderful place on that campus and they have, every day they have full activities. Our challenge was to provide them with a training session and also two social and two cultural activities. What kind of sports will these athletes be taking part in when they get over to Los Angeles for the World Games? Well, they're already training. So we have 11 sports and I don't have a sheet, but I'll try to remember them all. We have aquatics, athletics, badminton, bocce, basketball, and then we have soccer, which is football. Oh yes. And we have oh, roller I'm skating was one I heard last roller night. Roller skating. I was like, I think I yes. could do that one maybe. <laughs> oh, you should see them around the track. Um, so we also have open water swimmers, and we have power lifters. Oh wow. Yes. So, so pretty much everything you can. And think golf. Of. Golf is actually training at Strawberry Farms. I love that. And um, some of the activities, besides they're here today at the Great Park, what else will they be doing um, that you're showing off Irvine? Well, today they're in the Great Park, but they've also been at the Spectrum yesterday, and that was a social activity. Okay. Uh, last night we were at Bomber Canyon. We had a barbecue, and that was our cultural activity going in the old cattle farm uh, where the Irvine Ranch had their original one. So it was secluded. They got to see what Irvine was like originally. And then tonight we have another social activity and they will be at the Irvine Lakeview Senior Center and we have a dance oh, fun. combining the Korean delegation and the Irvine Eagles, our special Olympic athletes. That's great. So um, what kind of connections had to be made possible to make Host Town possible in Irvine? I know there's community leaders in the city. So talk a little bit about everyone that was involved to make this possible. Well, originally there was a meeting. I was not part of it at that time. but. World Games came to Irvine and asked if they would like to host and so they at that meeting they brought together community leaders and so that's when Irvine said yes UCI said yes and so we started moving forward I was brought on board about a month and a half after that to be the chair and then since then my challenge was to provide food housing activities uh, and reach out to the community leaders to support that and we've had wonderful support with our community and i know a lot of companies and organizations have stepped up to volunteer we have some cox communications employees out here today yes talk about the importance of volunteerism and everyone getting behind this cause well it, what's wonderful for me was to have cox communication and kelly blue book and edwards life science they have a lot of experience working with special olympic athletes so they brought to the table that knowledge of how important it was and they understood the role of a volunteer and we're able to share it with everyone else and that was very important and so what we have today we have we needed interpreters so we reached out to the community 
and they we reached out to Korean High School and Uni University High School and we have the Korean club and the international club and they volunteered to be our interpreters so we have about 16 or 20 today oh my God, that's we have a lot of high school students who are giving up summertime to be here. I love that. It really does take a village to put on a host town, correct? Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> and um, before we wrap, just tell me a little bit about how your experience has been uh, doing this, because I know the leadership you have uh, done for this has just been incredible. Thank you. Uh, it's been wonderful. It's been a lot of upfront work, but this is why we do it. I mean, today is the, the culmination. You know, being with the athletes, that's why. That's why. Thanks so much, Lisa. I really appreciate your time. And we'll be right back after this short break. We're gonna celebrate and stand together. We can change the world forever. There ain't nothing we can't do. All it takes is me and you. Help us reach our goal. Make this summer Special Olympics World Games in LA a world-class success. Donate now at la2015.org.